arriving for what would be a critical week in his trial as Oscar Pistorius took to the stand. For the first time, in his own words, we would hear the athlete's version of events as to what happened on that fateful night when he shot and killed Riva Steenkamp. Pistorius began by making a tearful apology to the Steenkamps and he was overcome with emotion when reliving the moment he discovered Steenkamp's body in the bathroom. Whilst well, so I leaned over the partition to get in, I saw the key, so I took it and I unlocked the door and I flung the door open and I threw it open. And I sat over Reva and I cried. And um, I don't know, I don't know how long... <coughs> I don't know how long I was there for. <laughs> she wasn't breathing. But in cross-examination on Wednesday, lead prosecutor Harry Nell wasted little time in attempting to unsettle the athlete. You, you're repeating it three times. What was your mistake? My mistake is that I took Reva's life, my lady. You killed her. You shot and killed her. Won't you take responsibility for that? I, I did, my lady. Now say it then. Say yes. I killed. I shot and killed Reva Stengar. I did, my lady. Now shocked the court and Pistorius when he showed a picture of Steenkamp's bloodied head. Images too graphic to show here. My well, lady, I was there that night. I. <laughs> That's it. Oh. Have a look there, mister. I know you don't want to because you don't want to take responsibility, but it's time that you look at it. Take responsibility for what you've done, Mr. Pistorius. My well, lady, I've, I've taken responsibility by me waiting and not wanting to live my life, but waiting for my time on this stand to tell my story for the respect of Reva. And for myself, I've taken responsibility, but I will not look at a picture where I'm tormented by what I saw and felt that night. As I picked Reva up, my fingers touched her head. I remember, I don't have to look at a picture. I was there. It's the same thing as the watermelon. You had it now in practice, mister. It's well, softer than brains. I... Now told the court that Pastorius' version of events was a lie. He asked why Pastorius had not clarified where Steenkamp was before arming himself. She was standing right in front of the bath, toilet door talking to you when you shot. It's not true, That's the lady. only reasonable explanation for her standing upright. That's the only reasonable explanation why you shot her in the hip, where you did. It's not true, my lady. She wasn't <laughs> scared of anything, except you. She wasn't scared of an intruder. She was scared of you. Oscar Pistorius will on Monday once again return to this court to face further fierce cross-examination. Harry Nell has yet to thoroughly test the athlete on those crucial moments following the shooting. This is the pivotal moment of the trial, so don't be surprised if Pistorius is kept on the stand for the rest of the week. Dan Williams, CCTV, Pretoria.